going to explore that in a second. As a matter of fact, I see a typo over here. Look at this righty. All right, left brain, analytic thought, logic, language, reasoning, science and math, right, written, number skills. Can you tell I'm more right brained with this typo here? Right hand, righty hand. This is says righty, should be righty hand control, right hand control. All right, here's our study. So this is what I want you to do right now is I want you to fold your hands and you're gonna write down which thumb is on top. So if this was your hand, you would write your left thumb is on top. So write this down, whether you're watching live or you're watching this later on YouTube or on Facebook tomorrow morning, uh, because it's after midnight here in the East Coast and I'm live on Wednesday night. My name is Janine Driver. I'm the Celebrity Lie Detector. If you do not already follow my page, please follow it and like it and tell other people to follow it too. And it's all about inspiring people to look at their world in a different way, decoding and influencing human behavior. All right, look at the thumb right here on top. And now this arm. So you're gonna write which thumb is on top. This person has their left thumb on top. This person has their right arm on top. So uh, left thumb on top. So you would write left. So you wanna do the thumb first. Then you're gonna do, so this would be um, left thumb on top and then right arm. And now because the left hand is controlled from the right side of the body and the right hand is controlled by the left, it's the opposite. What we're going to do here is this. So for me, my left thumb is always on top. So what you're going to do is you've already written down left. And when I fold my arms, my left arm is also on top. I don't know if you can see, my left arm is also on top. So I'm left, left. Then what you're gonna do though, is you're gonna inverse this. You're gonna reverse it or inverse it because it's the left part of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right brain controls the left side of the body. So if you just wrote down LL, you're gonna then turn that to RL. If you wrote down LR, you're gonna switch that to RL. And if you wrote RL, you're gonna switch that to LR. And if you wrote RR, you're gonna switch that to LL. Okay, so you got it. So you're gonna write to the opposite because if your left thumb is on top like mine is, that's being controlled by your right side of your brain. And if my left arm is on top, which it is, that's also being controlled by my right side of my brain. All right, so let me see. I'm gonna read a couple notes here and make sure some people are playing along because we're gonna put this to the test. This was a study done in the UK and we're gonna see how accurate is this study. I put it part of it to a test in my book and it's about 85% accurate, but we'll see how we, got, how we do here. All right, so I'm waiting for some responses. You'll see as we walk through it. Uh, so here's how this is going to work. How this is going to work is I'm gonna show you four different categories and I'm gonna tell you which category you're in. You're not gonna hurt my feelings if you're like, no, that doesn't describe me at all. So what I want you to do is get your pen and your piece of paper. And when you see it, I'm gonna show you, it's like eight to 12 descriptions for each of the categories. And you're going to put a check mark like this on your list. So when you get there, each list, all four. So you're gonna to answer to all four categories, right? So you're gonna to answer to all four categories. So if I were you, I would just do this. And then there's different colors. So I would write in with regard to the purple box. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put check marks. So, hey, out of the purple box, I have three of those criteria on the purple box. However, all of the rest of the ones in the purple box, I do not have. I do not have, because I believe that you're gonna have some in each of the four categories. We're just gonna see which one do you have the most amount of check marks and does it match this study where uh, your right brain controls the left side of your body and the left brain controls the right side of your body. So let's recap. Fold your hands first. The first letter is the thumb on top. So my left thumb is on top. So you should actually write an R. You write an R and then whatever hand is on top, I can't do it the opposite way. If your right arm is on top, you're gonna to put an L. So you're gonna do the opposite. How the equation works is the first letter should be the hand, the thumb, and the second letter should be crossed arms. All right, let's go.
Okay, here we have John Stewart. If you look, he has his uh, right thumb on top, and um, so it makes him more left brained. And then he has his left um, left arm on top over here, so it makes him more right brained. And we'll explore some more with John Stewart here in a second. So right here. So this would be, uh, the, remember, it's the opposite of what finger is on top and the opposite over here. So if you, everyone should be answering this, by the way. So you're going to write in that top box on the top left side, you're going to write blue. I wrote purple as an example. So we're going to change that to blue. Let me pop back up in here. So you're going to write, you're going to draw four boxes. And you can put me on pause, I think, even if you're here live. And then anything in the category, even if this doesn't match you, you're not the LR, you're the LL or you're the RR, it doesn't matter. We're going to see how many of this category matches you. You're like, yeah, I'm that. I'm definitely not this, 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 and this. And then when we get to your group, whatever it is, we're going to see, do you have more um, check marks in your group than any of the other areas? All right. So here we go. I think there's like three of us watching this live. <laughs> It's, what, what time is it? I don't even know, one in the morning. All right, here we go. All right, so John Stewart category, left, right. You likely are, we're gonna go through these fast, so you're a good speaker. So for me, I'm gonna put a check here because I'm not in this category, but I, I consider myself a good speaker. All right, so let me do mine. I'm gonna put this to the test, I haven't done this this yet okay so I'm gonna write blue so my good speaker are you a good speaker natural leader calm cool thoughtful and can be quiet I'm gonna put an x on that for me because I am not calm and cool are responsible stable and vigilant uh also that does not always apply to me sometimes but no so I'm gonna put a zero with a line through it are a smooth talker sure that applies to me. Can adjust to challenges fast? Yes or no? You care about people? Care about what others think about you? Consider others' needs? Define problems with principles and concepts. That's like, you shouldn't be talking and flirting with women at work. That's inappropriate, right? It's based on like basic principles and concepts. It's not thinking outside the box and being like flexible on your beliefs. It's like, no, it is what it is. I don't bend the rules for anyone. It doesn't matter, right? So today my husband and I had our house with refinancing and we had someone come in to assess the house and we had some work done without permits. And we're like, can't you just say that we have an extra bathroom? and a bedroom down there. And he's like, ah, uh, I can say it's a den. And I'm like, ah, right? He's based on principles. And right, have quick wit, have sense of responsibility. Eh, I'm really kind of irresponsible sometimes. Tend to be the leader in groups, definitely not me. And well thought out looks, like how you dress. It's very well thought out. So let me come back to me and you should have something that looks similar to this. So these are mine in the blue category. You can see I do have one, two, three, four, five. I have six check marks, yes. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven no's. So I have six, six yeses and seven no's. All right, so now let's go to the next category. Hopefully you're playing along. Oh, we have more left rights here. John Stewart said, so think about this description that we just went over a second ago, right? So let me back it up. So good speaker, natural leader, calm, smooth talker, right? Look at this quote. If you don't stick to your values when they're being tested, they're not values, they're hobbies. John Stewart it matches that, right? Angelina Jolie is in this category as well. Here's Angelina Jolie, if you look. Right here, her right thumb is on top, her left arm, so she's a LR. Angelini Jolie once said, nothing would mean anything if I didn't live a life of use to others. Adele is in this category. So if you're in here, you're in good company, you're a good speaker, natural leader, smooth talker. Adele is in the category. And then anyone know who this is? 
This is Victoria Beckham is in this category. Victoria Beckham once said, my glasses say a lot about me because I think in a pair of sunglasses is an image that a lot of people would recognize. Get it in, a, in an image of sunglasses? That's you, you get to see yourself in your beautiful glasses. So Victoria Beckham cares a lot about me. My glasses say a lot about me. So she cares about it. And remember one of the elements here was what? Well thought out looks. All right, Nicole Kidman in this category. <laughs> I believe that as much as you take, you have to give back. It's important not to focus too much on yourself. Nicole, Osmos, Nicole Kidman also said, what's the point of doing something good if nobody is watching? Nobody is watching, interesting. Oh, Emma Thompson here. So here's Emma Thompson, let's explore her quote. Maybe I don't take myself so seriously anymore and I don't care how I'm judged. I'm past all that. So past all that, <laughs> so think about it. One of the areas is what? Care what other people think about you. Oh, Emma Thompson, this is also connecting and helping people look at, she's connected with 17 charities and 15 causes. These are people who help people. These are her charities that she's connected with in blue. Here are the causes that she supports, everything from AIDS and HIV to poverty and peace and sexual abuse and refugee, refugees and education and women. The Rock, The Rock, now we're in a new category. So now in your box, you're gonna put red. And these are the RL people. Again, if we looked at the rock, his left thumb is on top and over here, his right arm is on top. So he, we reverse it, so it's RL. Let's see, what category are you a yes or a no in? Even if you are matched with this category or even if you're not, let's still do it. Are you caring? Yes or no? Yes, I'm caring. Are you friendly to everyone? No, no, I'm not. Are you natural at decoding others' motions? Yes. Are you unselfish, sociable, vigilant, and stable? Uh, not so much for me. Uh, can rarely say no when someone asks you to do something. Definitely not me. I've had no problem saying no. Can skirt around the issue when you think it's best. Eh, really, who can't do that? Give full consideration when doing something. I wish I could say yes on that, but it's no. I cut corners all the time. Sometimes I'm trying to do things really quickly. <laughs> so that happens. I have a stable personality. Um, also, no. Make others feel protected and supported by you. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm kind of. I'm going to give a half on that, like a a half check, because so that's three and a half on the yes, and one, two, three, four, five on the no's. Uh, because. I think it depends on the people. I'm not always um, letting people feel they're protected and supported by me because sometimes I'm, I'm judgmental. So these are my numbers, all right? We have not hit my category yet. Let's go on to the next one. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun with this game? Are you there? All right, I'm looking online. I'm not seeing comments because I think everyone's in bed. All right, here we go. Let's go to the next next picture. Oh, guess who's next? One of my other favorite people. I love The Rock. And I love this guy. Oh, I'm showing you how he connects with charity and events. So these are different charities and foundations supporting. I have a Dream Foundation, Kids Wish Network, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Until There's a Cure, Red Cross, Make the Difference, Parkinson. He's just amazing. Look at these causes he supports. Again, everything from AIDS and HIV to human rights and health and uh, veteran services in cancer and children, creative arts and Parkinson's. It's just at-risk, disadvantaged youths. Ah, oh, I love this guy, man. 
Yes, this guy too. Kevin Hart is in this category. Hi, Kevin. I love him. I'm going to meet him. I'm going to be friends with Kevin Hart. Again, very connected with charity work and events and causes. Here are his charities and foundations, Alzheimer's and Cats Care and Compound Foundation and Good Foundation, NAACP, United Negro College Fund, Make-A-Wish, everything. Look at this. Causes he supports. The list goes on and on. Also over here, remember this guy? He's interesting. We're going to explore Sean Penn here in a second. Sean Penn, I think we think of Sean Penn as a hothead. And recently, not too long ago, a couple of years ago, there was a big argument on a flight and the person was being very nasty to Sean Penn. And Sean Penn himself uh, brought the, the, the situation to a close, like calmed the guy down and the whole thing was resolved. Everyone couldn't believe it. They were so impressed. Uh, this came out, I don't know if you remember this, a while back in 2016 in January time frame. Uh, Sean Penn talked about the El Chapo meeting. I don't know if you remember this. This was a big deal because after, shortly after Sean Penn had gone over there to interview him, supposedly to talk about the drug problem, uh, El, El Chapo, who had escaped from jail, was re-arrested. And the police over there were trying to say uh, that all happened because Sean Penn led, it, led the police to him. That was not the case, according to Sean Penn. Let's watch a short video with Sean Penn. Do you believe that the Mexican government released this in part because they wanted to see you blamed and to put you at risk? Yes. They wanted to encourage the cartel to put you in their crosshairs? Yes. Are you fearful for your life? No. I'm gonna talk about this. You need to see me for this one. Sean Penn knew these questions were coming. He knew it was going to happen, right? So he's answering very quickly and giving direct eye contact and leaning forward. If you are confronting someone in your life and they answer the question in this way, you should be suspicious. This is a hot spot for sure because it's changing Sean Penn's baseline throughout the whole rest of the interview. He's just talking and answering the questions. And here he's like, yes, yes. So this means it's a hotspot. What's the hotspot? Maybe this is like holding back his temper. So that's the hotspot. Maybe it's like, yes. It, it, I would have, if I was the interviewer, I would have said, you know, tell me more about that. Tell me why you're so with 100% certainty saying, yes, I'm noticing a change in your baseline here where you're just so like firing at me your answers. Yes, yes, and then no, he's not afraid. Because without asking those questions, we don't know what the catalyst is for the change in his behavior, but we certainly know it's a hot spot because there's a change in his behavior here. If you are asking people questions, this is a sidebar. Now he did not do this, but if someone in your life answers before you finish asking a question, be very suspicious. Tonight when you went to the bar was, no, why? Uh, when you were yesterday at the gas station, did you see, no, why? Um, when you went to the grocery store, did you? Yeah, why? When they answer the question before you finish asking the question, be very suspicious because they knew that question was coming. And truthful people convey, liars try to convince. Do you believe that the Mexican government released this in part because they wanted to see you blamed and to put you at risk? Yes. They wanted to encourage the cartel to put you in their crosshairs. Yes. Are you fearful for your life? No. Okay, I just was making sure my sound was working over here. All right. Also in this category, Jay-Z. So Jay-Z, let's back this up here. All right. Now Jay-Z is here. Oprah Winfrey's in this category. Now we're off to purple. So now write purple. And your last color will be gray in a minute. So purple, <clears throat> again, put the check marks or the X's. So purple, you likely act natural. Yes, I totally keep it real. You're quick to take action. Yep, I'm very impulsive. 
You're a straight shooter. Oh yeah. Yep. That's me. Can sometimes take risks without thinking, can be careless and reckless. Um, yes. Also me, sadly. Do not like a lot of small talk. You want to get to the point. Um, that kind of depends on my mood. So I'm going to give that a half right there. Because sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm not interested. Like people are telling me way too many details. I do think I live in the why, like land the plane already. Why should I care about this? Do not like to listen to advice. That's so me. It's so crazy. Ask anyone who knows me. Have a powerful imagination. Yes. Like to try out of the box things. 100%. Yes. Love challenges. Yes. Uh, only listen to people if you find them interesting. Oh my gosh, so true. That's why I love quirky, interesting people. I love them. And then trust my gut. All right. So as you might imagine, based on all my yeses, what were yours? Did you have yeses or noes there? Uh, this is my category. I had 100% yes. Uh, at one, well, 99.9 .9 because I had one half, which is sometimes I don't mind small talking a little bit, but it has to be something interesting. So I'm, this is my category. So, so far these, this is correct. So, so far uh, based on my finger crossing and my arm crossing, this category fits me perfectly. All right, let's go to the next one. Last but not, oh yeah, actually I have to show you who the purple people are other than me. Donald Trump. That's right, Donald Trump. Now let's go over the criteria again here. Acts natural, quick to take action, straight shooter, can sometimes take risks without thinking, can be careless and reckless. Do not like a lot of small talk, get to the point. Do not like to listen to advice, hello. Have a powerful imagination, like to try out of the box things. Loves challenges, only listens to people if you find them interesting and trust your gut. Come on, look at that. Isn't it unbelievable? So Donald Trump's left thumb is on top and his left arm is on top. So that he becomes a right, right person. He's a right, right, just like me. And not just Donald Trump and me. Guess who else is on the list? Yeah, guess who? Oh, stand by. Donald Trump, no dream is too big. No challenge is too great. Nothing we want for our future is beyond our reach. That's that unstoppableness. When someone challenges you, fight back, be brutal, be tough. Oh, man. Hey, for some of you who are saying, yep, that's so Donald Trump. Guess who else is in this category? That's right. President Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Think about it. Let's go over the criteria again. Acts natural, quick to take action, straight shooter, can sometimes take risks without thinking and can be careless and reckless. I don't know. We'd have to ask about this. I'm not sure about this one. Do not like a lot of small talk. You get to the point. I think he does get to the point. Do not like to listen to advice. I don't know. Did he do things his way? You know, we always thought of like Dick Cheney really running the country when President George W. Bush was president. I really felt that that Donald, I mean, that Barack Obama was running this country. Um, have a powerful imagination, like to try out of the box things, 100%. Hello, he was letting people, you know, Tony, what's his name, skateboard up and down the White House hallways. He did all the talk shows. Loves challenges, of course. Only listen to people if you find them interesting. That's interesting. I don't know about that one and trusting your gut. So if anyone knows Barack Obama, you have to tell me how, how many checks and how many negatives does he have here. Obama's leadership style. So let's explore it. <clears throat> a psychological profile was conducted on personality-politics.org. Personality profile of U.S. President Barack Obama developed at the Unit for Study of Personality and Politics during Obama's 2008 and 2012 presidential campaigns reveals that the president is highly confident, moderately accommodating and deliberative, somewhat reserved personality type, best described as a confident conciliator, conciliator, conciliator. So these are the, the pie chart down here. So he's got, he's very ambitious. Right down here is, he's very dominant, ambitious, or this is other, so this is other here. So this is ambitious and this is dominant. So ambition is number one, then other. And then over here, these three, accommodating, conscientious, conscientious and retiring. 
established in 1999, a unit for study in personality and politics, collaborative faculty student research program at St. John's University and College of Benedict in Minnesota. Thank you for doing that chart. Oh, I love him. Milo Ventim, and people go, he gets mad when people say his name wrong. I just practiced like a hundred times yesterday. Milo Ventimigila, Milo Ventimigila, Ventimigila. Oh my gosh, I can't get it. Sometimes I'm an ass. Sometimes I'm sweet as peaches. Oh, another fan favorite. Ah, oh, I love Keanu Reeves. Love him. Think about it. Keanu Reeves, acts natural, quick to take action, straight shooter, can sometimes take risks without thinking about it. Just the, I, I love this guy. I love this guy. So you think about it, your personality then layers on top of all this, right? So if you can't have the reality, a dream is just as good. Keanu Reeves. A dream, I dream of a day where I walk down the street and hear people talk about morality, sustain, sustainability, sustainability, and philosophy instead of the Kardashians. Oh yeah, Liz Taylor here. I mean, is, it, uh, is this Liz Taylor? No, um, no, 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 no. What's her? He Catherine Hepburn, oh my gosh. You can tell it's two in the morning. Ah, uh, my time, AM. All right, Catherine Hepburn, of course, this all matches. If you obey all the rules, you miss all the fun. These are the rule breakers. You can't change the music of your soul. I am who I am is what she's saying, right? Wendy Williams, we're gonna explore her tonight if we have time. Think about it, natural, quick to take action, straight shooter, can sometimes take risks without thinking, do it, come on. The only thing that's really not a fit for Wendy Williams here is the small talk. Although if you think about it, her small talk is like, let's get to the juice, like get to the point, get to the good stuff, right? She doesn't need someone's long bio, she wants to know the scoop. Ah. Basically, I hate conformity. I hate people telling me what to do. It makes me want to smash things, Wendy Williams. The difference between winners and losers is winners know exactly who they are and aren't scared to be authentic. Wendy Williams. Oh, I love Mindy. Where did she go? Right here. Oh my gosh. Hold on, back it up. I want to talk about her. I love Mindy. Uh, she's just amazing. And she's in a new movie right now. I want to go see. Think about it. Natural, quick to take action. Now, this is interesting. She's one of two people that I found. I spent days looking at these fingers crossing, interlooping fingers and arms crossing. Mini Kaling, right here, has her left thumb on top. So she's right. And then she has her left arm here. So she should be right, right, like me. Well, and some of you at home, right? However, look at this. There were other pictures, numerous ones, where over here, she's now has her left thumb on top, right here. I mean, she now has, right, hold on, I'm getting confused. She has her right thumb on top. So she goes from right, right to left, right. She always keeps her arms this way, but sometimes her fingers interlace the other way. So let's go into our blue category as we, oh, we already did blue. So we already did blue. So think about a good speaker, natural leader, calm, cool. So she's a combo, she's a combo. Now, that last but not least, our gray area, our gray area. All right, and let's go one at a time. And again, put check marks if you're like, yeah, that meets my, I'm that, and put an X if you're like, no way, that's not me. So are you dedicated, dedicated? Hmm. I would say, yeah, I'm pretty dedicated. Logical, reliable, truthful. I am truthful. I am not logical. And quite frankly, sadly, I wish I was more reliable than I am. I'm not the most reliable person. So I'm going to put an X on that for me. You are a perfectionist. Definitely not me. I'm not a perfectionist at everything I do. I do like to do the best that I can, but I'm not a perfectionist. Obviously, as you can tell from my PowerPoints and my hiccups here, uh, maybe seen as Maybe seen as, hold on, let me put an X. Maybe seen as disinterested when in fact you are interested. So you're maybe seen as aloof. Maybe you're seen as aloof. Uh, no, I, people know when I'm interested. All right. Can, can intimidate people because you are so close to perfect that this may make you seem unapproachable. Definitely not me. 
definitely. I'm are you kidding? I like I dress like I'm going to, you know, play a basketball game all the time. Can you sometimes think you are the only person who is right? So you'll insist you're right. Yes. Yes, that's me. That would be accurate. <laughs> you speak so eloquently that other people may feel less than when they're with you. Negative. No. To only be swayed when you are only swayed when people give you the why. Why this matters explanation. So why this matters. Uh, no. I'm going to say no on that too because I can be swayed uh, if it's just something I don't care about. Like you don't need to tell me why. If you're like, hey, uh, want to go, let's go to Chinese food. And I'm like, well, let's go for Italian. Like, I want Chinese food. I'm like, ah, all right. Cause I don't really care. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fight that fight. So I have two here. Count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven no's. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten and a half. Yes, yes. So for me, uh, I don't know if this is showing up backwards or not for you, but for me in the blue category, I had six yeses, seven no's. In red, I had three and a half yeses, five no's. In purple, I had ten and a half yeses and one half no. I'm purple all the way. In gray, I had two yeses and seven no's, two yeses and seven no's. So for me, this, this little exercise, as I give my eyeball a paper cut, uh, this little exercise worked with me. So I want you to tell me on Facebook Live or on YouTube, was this exercise accurate for you when you totaled them all up? Just write why or no, and then tell me what you are. So say, yes, it was accurate out of all the categories and I am LL or I am RL or I am RR or I am LR. All right, so let me know. I'm seeing, because I'm curious what most people come up as. So check it out. I find this study to be interesting. I like putting things to the test. I'm big on challenging conventional wisdom. And once you understand this, imagine what's possible. You could have a little cheat sheet of these uh, these little categories. Oh, we didn't go to the gray people. I'm gonna show you who they are. But you could have a cheat sheet and read people around the table and know you have an 85% accuracy rate or even more than that. So you're wondering who's in the gray category, Janine? All right. Yeah, that's right. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is in this category. Think about it, right? She probably came to your mind right away. Where am I going? Okay, RBG. All right, RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Think about it, dedicated, logical, reliable, truthful, motivated by research, perfectionist, maybe seem disinterested when in fact you may be interested, can intimidate people because you're close to perfect. This may make you seem unapproachable, can sometimes think you're the only person who is right and maybe you'll insist that you're right. So eloquently spoken that people may feel less than when they're around you. To only be swayed when people give you the whys of the matter, well, she's an attorney, and well, a judge, uh, my dissenting, <clears throat> my dissenting opinions, like my briefs, are intended to persuade, and sometimes one must be forceful about saying how wrong the court's decision is. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Our uh, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling on the list. Think about it. Same thing. Dedicated, logical, reliable, truthful, motivated by research, perfectionist, just amazing. So eloquent. She's a wordsmith. Johnny Depp is in this category, but Johnny Depp is my other person who has two different categories. He's a left, left, and then he's a left, right. <clears throat> You're like, Janine, what do you mean by that? Look at this here. He has his right arm on top, so he gets an L for that because it's the opposite. And over here, he has his left arm on top, so he gets an R. So he's a combination of both. Good speaker, natural leader, calm, smooth talker, responsible, stable, cares about people, just the challenges. So he's a combination. I thought that was interesting, him and Mindy with only two people that were both categories. So if I were you, I would take a screenshot of this. This is what I would do. I would take a screenshot of this, and I, I put this together for you. I would, 
it's your answer key. I would print it in color and I would see if the people in your life match up with this criteria. And you could do it without their knowledge. Just pay attention to how your husband or wife or kids or your employees cross their fingers and cross their hands. And then look at the category and say, wow, it, this is so dead on. And if it is, do your own little mini study. Because imagine if it's 85% accurate or above, you have an 85% chance of knowing the person across from that boardroom table across from you, how they are going to interact with you, how they make their decisions, who they are as a human being. And you can A, not take things personally, and B, know how to best persuade them. No, should you get to the point? They don't like small talk. Should you should, should you tell them the why? Uh, is this person just going to go for it and be you know take a risk without thinking about it because they're over in the purple zone like I am? You know, are you going to be interesting and know a fun fact when you meet me because that's totally going to bring me in. Tell me something really cool. That's really cool for me. All right. So hopefully you've taken this screenshot. Maybe I'll take a screenshot. Oh, you will. I'll take a screenshot and put it below. Just in case you're like, I don't know how to take a screenshot, Janine. I'll put it as a picture below. Oh, uh, Janine, you're so nice. My name's Janine Driver. I'm the celebrity lie detector complimenting myself. I'm here every Wednesday night live. And tonight we started late after midnight. So I'm gonna be here for a while and then head home. I'm exhausted in my I'm at my office. This is what I call a blue streak. A blue streak is a bolt of lightning that changes the direction of your life. If you have not already visited my 24 hours a day, seven days a week training, check it out, bluestreaktraining.com. We have a limited offer of 80% off because we just launched the training, uh, virtual training a couple weeks ago, and we're excited. We want to give you this gift. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. You can become a founding member, and there's all different possibilities on how you can play from the comfort of your home, from your cell phone. And that way it's not just here, it's well thought out content so you can change your behavior and begin to become a human lie detector.